Duffy's Tavern, where you late meat to eat, Archie the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, Duffy. Oh, nothing. I'm just going over the mail here. Yeah, got a nice postcard from Nitro McNulty, you know, the safe cracker. Yes, uh, he's summering at Alcatraz. <laughs> yeah. Card says, uh, let's see, he says, wish you were here, doing wonderful time. <laughs> uh, yeah, then we got a very vicious, nasty letter from the health department. Well, I don't know what it says. I ain't opened it yet. <laughs> Well, look, Duffy, I'll call you back. I want to go over the rest of the mail. There's a letter here from your girlfriend, Peaches Latour. Oh, yeah, the strip tease, huh? Hey, wait a minute. How do you know it's from Peaches? The stamp is peeling off. <laughs> hey, there's another letter here from the Axeman Cyclopedia Company. Oh, let's see. Hmm, just congratulations. You have been selected as the genius of the week. By our sales department. Our representative will call on you to present you with a special award. Eddie. Yeah? At last, me brains have leaked out. <laughs> amazing. What do you mean, amazing? All them brains could leak out from a head with such a small hole. <laughs> you, the genius of the week. Look, after all these years, you don't seem to realize that there's nothing that I don't know something about. Yeah, but on the other hand, there's something that you don't know nothing about. <laughs> what? Everything. <laughs> Is that so? For your ratification, I have forgotten more than I ever knew. Uh, I wonder how much this genius award will amount to, uh... Well, the Nobel Prize run up to about $40,000. Nobel Prize, yeah, huh? Yeah, that Nobel Prize is just for foreign geniuses, you know. They, they work cheap. <laughs> Look, Eddie, uh, when the representative gets here, i got to impress him. Uh, have we got one of them graduation hats around? What? You know, the kind that's uh, round on the bottom and square on top. Uh, all right. <laughs> Hello, Finnegan. The high arch. Guess what? What? My kid brother just started to crawl today. Oh, really? Gee, that's nice. How old is the little tyke? Fourteen. Fourteen? He sounds very advanced. Well, he sure is. He can even spell his name backwards. What's his name? Otto. <laughs> Otto sounds like a fellow genius. <laughs> What? Uh, I have just been voted the genius of the week. Oh, really? Well, I just hope you don't let your brain go to your head. <laughs> uh, why should I? It's just an accident, you know. It's a freak of nature that I'm cursed with this mentality. <laughs> uh, would you care for a demonstration of my brilliance? Is it on the house? Yeah. Uh, ask me a question, any question. Uh, a question. Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, what time is it? And I'm a genius. Ask me something real tough. Oh, tough. Okay. Uh, what's the capital of Ohio? It's a quarter after nine. <laughs> really? I just sworn it was Columbus. It was probably taken to the circle. <laughs> Is there any mail for me? Any mail for you? I suppose so. There's two billion people in the world. <laughs> oh, stop always oh. trying to be funny. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, here, here's a postcard for you. Oh, let's see. Well, listen to this. Dear Miss Duffy, I guess this is farewell. I have gone to join the Foreign Legion. Yeah, well, who's it from? Emma Fessa. Oh, uh, well, good evening, sir. Wait. That high forehead, that profound expression, those alert, quivering ears. You must be Archie. Quite right. I am that him. 
I knew it the minute I looked at you. Let me see, what great man is it that you remind me of? Uh, well, uh, a lot of people say that I'm a spitting, uh, I mean, the, uh, the expectorating image of Einstein. <laughs> Einstein? Yes, uh, Sir Isaac Einstein. Uh, you know, the guy that invented the apple. <laughs> but leave us not shilly-dally. Uh, <clears throat> did you bring the money with you? Money? Yes, the award. Oh, well, uh, before we grab this award, I would like to impress you with its importance. The Genius of the Week is a title that we only bestow on men of higher education. Oh, I don't like to brag, but in college I had so many degrees I was known as Archie the Thermometer. You went to college? It's obvious. <laughs> Which college? Eddie, tell him. Uh, Harvard, class of 25. Eddie, please, leave us not exaggerate. There was only 19 in the class. <laughs> now, uh, Eddie, uh, tell the gentleman about me graduating on us. Uh... He graduated magna cum laude. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Uh, he speaks broken Latin. Uh, I'm always shocked when I hear it. Shocked? Why? Do you speak the dead languages? Like a corpse. <laughs> Now, I'm a busy man. Now, what about this award? Not uh, so fast. Before you receive the award, our committee requires that you answer a question selected from our encyclopedia. Okay. Uh, shoot the question to me, Herbert. Very well. Which is more important to life on the Earth, the sun or the moon? Uh, the moon, of course. It uh, shines in the nighttime when you really need the light. <laughs> I'm afraid that is not quite correct. Oh, uh, uh, could I have another crack at it? <laughs> no, no, but our committee is very liberal. I'll give you another question. Okay, sure. What animal is known as man's best friend? Woman? <laughs> no. A man's best friend. Uh... <laughs> A seal? <laughs> No, but you're getting warm. Man's best friend, and I'm getting warm. You sure it ain't a woman? <laughs> Perhaps we'd better try another question, and I'll try to make this one simple. Okay, make it easy on yourself. <laughs> okay. What is it that is made from flowers that smells good and is called perfume? Uh, pipe you. Then again, get out of here, will you? Let's see now. Made from flowers and smells good. Uh, tell me, is it made from wild flowers or tame flowers? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. What is it your girl puts behind her ears? Cigarette butts. <laughs> but I failed to see what that has to do with flowers. <laughs> Look. At the same time, if you can think up an answer, I'll try to put a question in front of it. <laughs> Sir, us geniuses don't brook no favors. Very well, we'll try again. Under first aid. When a person thinks, what do you place under his nose to revive him? A tiny quid? <laughs> no. Hmm. I'm on the upper head and I killed it. I got it. What? A bird. No. Hey, this is a tough one, then. <clears throat> Eddie, please stop waving that bottle of ammonia in front of me now. That's it. What's that? What you said. Stop waving? No. In front of me nose? No. Bottle of ammonia? Bingo! <laughs> you mean I'm the genius of the week? Correct. And now I have the great fortune to bestow on you the honor and privilege of purchasing this encyclopedia for only $49. I paid $49. You realize that this encyclopedia contains 3,000 pages in addition to an appendix? How much is it if we cut out the appendix? <laughs> Look, bud, I ain't got time to haggle. Do you want to be the genius of the week or don't you? <laughs> 
Well, uh, how much is it if I ain't the genius of the week? Forty-nine dollars. Now, just a minute. I know what you're thinking, but the genius of the week only has to pay two dollars down. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> uh, for a second, I thought I might just as well be a dope. Uh, two dollars down, huh? Uh, how do I pay the balance? In one easy installment. <laughs> when? Tomorrow. <laughs> but look, where am I going to get 47 bucks by tomorrow? You're a genius, aren't you? Well, yes. That's good enough for me. Do you mind other? Okay. Eddie. Yeah? Eddie, uh, look, uh, have we still got that old bed sheet in the back room? What? Well, this encyclopedia, you know, with a, a award like this, I think we should have a formal unveiling. That's what I like about stuff. There's always something normal going on. Seven bucks. Eddie, I'm afraid I chewed off a little more than I can bite. <laughs> I thought a little thing like money never worried geniuses. Well, don't forget, Eddie. I just know it. His head ain't broken in yet. <laughs> Forty-seven bucks to be a genius, sir. Look, Eddie, how would you like to be me partner? Shake hands with the idiot. Okay, I will. Uh, Finnegan? Yeah? Look, how would you like to be a genius? I don't know. What? What's the hours? <laughs> uh, well, we can discuss that later. I'm looking for a partner. Now, no. tell me, uh, have you got 47 bucks? Are you kidding? <laughs> well, uh, is your old man working? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, the partner I have in mind might temporarily embezzle his old man's pay envelope. Well, I don't know. I, I think that that's the kind of a partner I need. A man that can think. Uh, when's your old man's next payday? Tomorrow. Come on. Put it there, partner. <laughs> no, just a minute, Art. Suppose I swipe the money and then I find out I ain't a genius. Well, we'll test that out right now. Let's see here. The encyclopedia is open to the bees. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, what's a vacuum? Vacuum. Yeah. Vacuum. Mm, I gotta let me head. The answer is absolutely correct. Tomorrow you bring in the 47 bucks, and you're a genius. Oh, that was too easy. Uh, can I have another one? Well, okay. Uh, here's one on history. Oh, no. I hate history. That stuff causes nothing but wars. <laughs> well, all right. I'll give you a question about wars. Oh, right, better. Uh, tell me, uh, how long did the 30 years war last? Thirty years war. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's a tough one. Well, uh, tell me, how old is your fourteen-year-old brother Otto? He's fourteen years old. Okay. <laughs> then how long did the Thirty Years' War last? Fourteen years. <laughs> Absolutely correct. I couldn't have picked a more intelligent partner. <laughs> All right, that, uh, when do I start learning the business, guys? Well, there's no time like the present. Now, uh, let's look through the book here. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, I. Huh? What's that thing there? Where? That picture. Oh, that, uh, that's a dinosaur. Jeez, he's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you call him again? A uh, dinosaur. It's an animal that lived millions of years ago during the, uh, Matozoic age. Yeah, sort of a lizard with an overactive thyroid. The, uh, lived millions of years? Yeah, yeah, they existed about, uh, 20,000 neons ago. Neons? 
yes, uh, white years. Oh, I see. Uh, how big white they are? How big? Uh, well, uh, if we could believe the semantics, you know, the old-time philosophers, uh, these dinosaurs was as big as a house. But <laughs> since they didn't have houses in them days, nobody knows how big they were. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But uh, there's, there's none of them left, though, huh? Uh, no, there's none left. You see, there was uh, very vociferous eaters. Uh, you'd eat fishes, mussels, alligators, mammals, and so finally there was nothing left to eat, so they started eating each other, naturally. This is where they made their big mistake. Before they knew it, they had extincted themselves to death. <laughs> That's why to this date, and again, uh, every time you see a dinosaur, it looks like a skeleton. <laughs> well, I, I have a little trouble with the water faucet. It's better call the plumber. The plumber? With this encyclopedia, what do we need with a plumber? Well, let's look it up here. E-L-U-M-M-E-R. <laughs> Don't seem to be here. Uh, I got news for you. The word plumber had a B in it. Oh, a B. B L U M. That don't seem to be here neither. The B is in the middle. B L U M B. Eddie, that's a fruit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. What do we need this book for? I'm the genius of the week. And if a genius can't fix a lousy water pipe, he might just as well remain a dope. <laughs> Partner? Yeah? Get a flashlight and a monkey wrench and come on down the cellar with me. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Sure ain't dark down here in the cellar. Yeah. Hope we can find the right pipe. I think I'll uh, hammer on this one and see what happens. Ouch! Uh, sorry, partner. Uh, uh, leave us try this one here. Uh, Eddie! Yeah? Uh, did the water go on upstairs? Yeah. Good. Uh, but now the lights are out. <laughs> I think maybe we'd better try this one. Oh, good shot, Art. You bumped it right rotten half. Hey, quick. Give me the yeah. monkey right okay. there. Now, let's see. I'll hook this pipe on here like this. Then I'll move these wires over here. Yep. That should do it. Eddie! Yeah? The light's back on? Yeah, light's on. How about the water? more than one way to skin a cat. What are you going to do, Lord? Send for the plumber. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. We'll take one more crack at it. Uh, here, Finnegan, help yeah. me lift this floorboard here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's... Wait a minute. What is it, Dodge? My foot just hit something. Finnegan, quick, flash on the flashlight. Okay. You're up. Arch, what is it? Bones. Bones! Arch! You think they're... What else? Finnegan, remove your hat. You're in the presence of a dead dinosaur. <laughs> uh, Eddie, look. Look what we found in the cellar. Huh? Look, man. The bones of a dead dinosaur. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> You know, pink elephants while you was down there, didn't you? Don't stop me in the face of science. This is the greatest discovery since Lewis passed you bit that mad dog. <laughs> Quick, give me that phone. Oh, Hello? Smithsonian Institute? Start dickering. 
Oh, this is Archie at Duffy's Tavern. I just discovered some dinosaur bones. You don't believe it, huh? Okay, come down here and I'll show them to you in the flesh. <laughs> You'll be right down? Okay. Look, Miss Bone. <laughs> what? When are we going to get the water faucet fixed? The water faucet. The water faucet. Eddie, right now I got no time to have water on the brain. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, good evening, sir. I am Mr. Wagner from the Smithsonian Institute. Oh, happy to meet you, sir. Uh, always glad to meet a fellow phone lover. <laughs> Just a second. What an interesting fossil. Mr. Wagner, that happens to be my partner. Uh, these are the dinosaur bones over here. Those are dinosaur bones? Yeah. Young man, you are insane. Sir, we seem to have a difference of opinion. <laughs> Why don't we leave it to a third party? Who? Uh, Professor Finnegan here. Professor Finnegan? He happens to be an LLD, a PhD, and an AB. Does he have an MA? Sweetest little old lady ever saw. <laughs> Professor Finnegan, there seems to be a difference of opinion about these dinosaur bones. Uh, tell us, what do you think of them? I think they're delicious. <laughs> Professor, stop nibbling on the exhibit. Well, I just thought I... Now, uh, aside from their nutritional value, uh, what do you think? <laughs> Young man... I am not interested in these so-called dinosaur bones. Yes, huh? No. But I am interested in the professor here. <laughs> well, <laughs> I should think you would be. Uh, you heard of that uh, famous expedition to find the missing link? Professor, don't tell me you went out with that expedition. No, I came back with it. <laughs> Professor, yes. uh, come closer. Hmm. The shaggy bra. The thick skull. The long arms. The furry neck. I wonder. Do you have a banana? I was right. The Neanderthal man. Oh, look, Professor, how would you like a job at the Smithsonian Institute? Uh, what is the job pay? A hundred dollars a week. hundred bucks a week? Professor. Uh, yes? Uh, have a banana. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Well, for a hundred bucks, I might take a job at the Smithsonian myself. Sorry, you'd be too unbelievable. <laughs> Well, I get for being a genius at a week. Well, come along, Professor. Okay. We've got to get to the Institute to begin our studies. Okay. Uh, what do I study? Nothing. We study you. <laughs> Tavern was originally released by NBC, the National Broadcasting Company, for listeners in the United States, and was rebroadcast for American forces overseas. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.